In the equity quadrant, taking a look at the September NASDAQ, the worst performer equity-wise in the U.S. on the day, it's going through a rally, but it is struggling right now. The NASDAQ was higher for four straight sessions before today and had rallied over 7% from the August 8th low, but it remains below the 50-day moving average, which it tested today on the highs and failed from. Today's high took us up to 19,203.50, which was the highest level since August 1st, and it was up 0.52%. The low today, 18,925.50, which was down almost a full percentage point, 94 basis points to be exact. Volume has been fairly light relative to recent volume, and it has been a stable downward trajectory of volume since the last day of the big sell-off on August 5th. Consumer sentiment continues to wane. It's part of the reason for weakness in the equities in general. An eight-month low in consumer sentiment weighing overall according to the Consumer Sentiment Index from the University of Michigan, which came out at 66.4 in July, and we're due out to get a new figure in two days on August 16th. We're gonna get retail sales tomorrow, so we got two days of consumer-facing data, which don't directly affect the NASDAQ, but indirectly do, since a lot of consumer decisions are based on technology right now, whether to buy a new TV, new computer, new phone, et cetera. And a lot of that suffers when you have a consumer that is going through a struggle as well. Also, in terms of interest rates, rates were mixed today. They were high early, uh, I'm sorry, low, higher earlier than lower. Then they came back toward unchanged. But the markets have moved squarely back into the policy adjustment camp for the US Federal Reserve. We now got a 62.5% chance of a 25 basis point rate cut in September and only a 37.5% chance of 50, which is more the policy adjustment region. A couple of weeks ago, 86.5% were calling for 50 and 13.5% chance were calling for 25. That was at the beginning of August. So we're now more in the sort of slow but steady rate cut camp that's gonna be better for equities overall than a sort of emergency panic bunch of rate cuts that could point, at least from the market's perspective, to things being worse than the market currently thinks things are.